let's move on and talk about some tools that are going to help us actually build models in Excel. Some of these tools are predictive in that they try to anticipate what it is that we're, we're trying to accomplish, then go ahead and automate that for us. And so a good example of that would be our fast fill right tool. Filling right natively is one of the operations that we perform in Excel most frequently in finance. And if we wanted to fill right this sales growth formula that we have here natively, we need to first select the range of cells that we want to fill and then use our native shortcut to fill those cells. With Macabacus, though, we don't need to pre-select the range of cells that we want to fill. We just select the one cell containing the formula that we want to fill to the right and then use our fast fill right shortcut and Macabacus will figure out how far right to fill based on the adjacent data. And so given how frequently you're filling right in Excel, this is really gonna save you a lot of keystrokes over time. When we build models, we often come across formulas that might result in a formula error, like our divide by zero error that we have in the first period here. And where we might expect formula errors, what we often like to do is wrap those formulas in an if error function so that we can show some other Springer value in the error condition. So I'm gonna select all of the sales growth formulas in row 15 here, and then I'm gonna use my error wrap toggle shortcut. And you can see now, if you look in the formula bar or in the formulas in the cells, we've taken all of the original formulas here and wrapped them in this if error function so that we show an NA in the error condition instead of that nasty divide by zero error. NA is the default value that we're using here, which is customizable. So you can make that whatever you want, or you can choose to be prompted for this error condition value each time we use this tool. And because this tool is configured as a toggle, we can reselect all of these cells here and repeat that same shortcut keystroke to remove the error wraps from all of these formulas. All right, let's talk hey, about Ryan. simplify formula here. Do you mind making the spreadsheet a little bit larger so everyone could see better? Thank you so much. Sure. All right, um, so here we've got uh, some functions that are complex or formulas that are complex An index match that's obviously a bit intimidating. Uh, VLOOKUPs and HLOOKUPs can be a little bit intimidating. Um, because it's not clear what cell is actually being referenced by these formulas. Let's look at the V lookup here. If we scroll to the right, um, we can see that the second argument in this function refers to an array of cells. And in this particular case, it's a relatively small array of cells. So we can kind of eyeball this and see where the value of 11 is coming from here. But in the real world, you might have a very large array of cells in this second argument here that perhaps contains duplicate values that's maybe on another sheet in the workbook. So you may not be able to eyeball this and see where the value of 11 is coming from. Same issue with the index match here. So we can eyeball this, see where the value of two comes from, but in the real world, not necessarily the case. So if we're trying to understand somebody else's model, like let's say we've been tasked with uh, making some changes to a model that is maybe relatively unfamiliar to us, we want to get a sense of what is what in the model here. And maybe the model was built with some of these best practices, formulas and functions like index matches and VLOOKUPs, HLOOKUPs and XLOOKUPs. But to facilitate our understanding of the model, we might wanna simplify these if only temporarily. So let's select a whole bunch of formulas that we may wanna simplify here and then go to the formulas menu. And under evaluate functions, you'll find a button here that has an equivalent shortcut. And when we click this button or key that shortcut, Macabacus will simplify for us all of the functions that we've checked off here. So let's go ahead and click our simplify formula button. We'll get confirmation that that worked. And now if we look at our index match function, it's just a direct cell reference, which is, of course, much easier to understand. And our VLOOKUP here is just a direct cell reference here that's referring to a cell that's now off the screen. And if we want to get back to the original formulas that we have here, we can just use our uh, native shortcut to undo and restore the original formulas. Let's talk about a couple of paste, uh, pasting tools that Macabacus has. So here in row 31, I'm going to have to zoom out here so we can see things. Uh, so in row 31, we're going, we're linking to some sales figures above, and in row 32, we're doing a cumulative sum on those figures. 
And if we just copy and paste these cells natively using our native shortcuts, you'll see that Excel shifts our cell references to the right here, depending on how we've anchored the cell references in the formulas that we've copied. And a lot of times this is what we wanna do, but sometimes we just wanna copy and paste formulas exactly as they are without any changes made to them whatsoever. And we can use our paste exact tool to do just that. So I'm gonna copy our cells again here, just using my native copy shortcut. But now I'm gonna use the Macabacus paste exact shortcut. And what you'll see here is that all of the formulas that we've pasted are exactly identical to those that we copied, including the cumulative sums here, which you can see refer to the cells in the copied range rather than the pasted range. And depending on what we're trying to accomplish, this may or may not be desirable. So we have another tool called paste duplicate, which is maybe a smarter or more intuitive version of paste exact. Let's recopy our cells again. And then off to the right, we're gonna use our paste duplicate shortcut. And now what we're going to see is that for any cell references that refer to cells outside of the copied range, those are all identical to those that we copied. So in row 31 here, every single formula is identical to the one that we copied. But in row 32, you can see that the original relativity of these formulas in the copied range is now present here in the pasted range. So you can imagine how we can use the paste duplicate tool specifically to copy and paste a large analysis like a balance sheet or an income statement without having to worry about whether the totals and the margins and the growth rate calculations are anchored properly. It's just going to work the way you expect. Macabacus is the only tool that was originally conceived with investment bankers in mind and continues to be developed with, um, with investment bankers in mind. Um, so we have a tool, some tools that are very specifically designed for those types of folks, or maybe just finance professionals generally. Uh, one of those would be our quick kegger tool. So when I started out in banking, I always forgot what the kegger formula is, and maybe now you don't ever need to memorize that. If you need to insert a kegger into your model, you just put the cursor next to the data that you want to compute the kegger over, in this case, our sales data. And then we'll click our quick kegger button from the formulas menu. Macabacus prompts us to confirm the range of cells that we want to compute the Kager over shaded in green here. And if we're okay with that assumption, we just hit enter on the keyboard and Macabacus adds this best practices Kager formula to your model for you. In finance, a lot of times we're doing comparable analyses of one type or another. Here we've got a very, very simple comparable companies analysis. And what we often see below these analyses or at the bottom are summary statistics like a min, max, average, et cetera. And we can add those statistics quickly by selecting the data that we wanna compute these statistics for, and then clicking our summary statistics button, which pulls up a dialogue, allowing us to customize the statistics that we want to show here. We can change the order in which we show them. We can change the labels. So if we wanna say mean instead of average or something in another language, we can do that. And Macabacus will remember the settings that you specify here so that the next time you use this tool, all you're gonna to have to do is just hit enter on the keyboard and Macabacus will populate all of these summary statistics for you, which is going to save you a bunch of steps.